We have the latest on the rumored brand new billion dollar AEW deal and have the CM Punk AEW return plans been scrapped. But first we have some sad news to discuss as WWE Hall of Famer superstar Billy Graham has passed away. Earlier this week, superstar's wife Valerie Coleman would take to Facebook to reveal that doctors had wanted to remove her husband from life support this on Monday night, something she refused to allow them to do. However, news broke this morning that Graham is no longer with us. Billy Graham, real name Eldridge Wayne Coleman, has had numerous health problems in recent months, having been admitted to extended stays in hospital on multiple occasions. In April, he would suffer from an acute kidney failure before later suffering from an infection that severely impacted his skull, ears, and sinus cavity, resulting in deafness and significant weight loss. Superstar is a former WWE World Champion, a title he held from April 1977 until February 1978, this when the belt was named the WWWF Heavyweight Championship. He would also hold multiple titles under the NWA banner, as well as the IWA and CWA World Championships. After retiring from wrestling in 1987, he would go on to become a commentator before eventually being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame by Triple H as part of the 2004 class, where the game would credit Superstar for inspiring him to step between the ropes himself. And we send our condolences out to his friends and family. Yesterday, Warner Bros. Discovery and All Elite Wrestling would announce the introduction of a brand new primetime wrestling show, AEW Collision, which is set to air on Saturday nights, starting on June 17th. With that said, the new show will allow for a roster split within AEW to allow more television time for some underutilized talents, whilst also keeping certain people separate from those they don't necessarily get along with. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful has confirmed that there will be a hard roster split in place between AEW Dynamite and the new show, although there will be some exceptions, which includes all current champions who can appear on either brand. He would also note that the talent was told yesterday which show they will be appearing on, something that will be addressed publicly soon. As far as which talent have been announced for Collision so far via the official press release and the corresponding graphics, this includes... Miro, Samoa Joe, Funda Rosa, Powerhouse Hobbs, Andrade Alidolo, AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy, AEW World Champion MJF, AEW Tag Team Champions FTR, Miro, and AEW Trios Champions House of Black. However, it's worth remembering that the champions won't be exclusive, but it looks like they may be on the show in the early days. Another graphic would also emerge immediately after yesterday's announcement, this on Deadline.com, which is circulated online, although this one appears to be a quick mock-up made by the publication themselves. This one includes names such as Brian Danielson, Scorpio Sky, Jack Perry, and Adam Page, although if you look closely, this is actually an old graphic for AEW Rampage with a Collision logo slapped on top. Therefore, for now, these names are far from confirmed for the show, and it doesn't necessarily mean that Scorpio Sky is set for his AEW return. And before we continue, let me just quickly get a cheap plug in for my recent How AEW Can Change Wrestling Forever video, where I discuss how All Elite Wrestling should handle the introduction of AEW Collision with the ultimate goal of building towards a showdown between the Elite and CM Punk. And I've been working on this one for a while, so make sure you go and check it out and show your support. Now let's get to a story from last night's episode of AEW Dynamite where a shock debut would take place. Over recent weeks, AEW World Tag Team Champions FTR have been locked in a feud with Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal and the rest of their entourage, with Mark Briscoe caught in the middle. Last night, FTR would find themselves brawling with their current rivals, this before Karen Jarrett, the real-life wife of Jeff Jarrett, made her AEW debut, low-blowing Cash Wheeler, allowing for Jeff and Jay to wipe the tag champs out with guitar shots to the head. This isn't Karen's first spell alongside her husband in wrestling, with her previously managing him in both Global Force Wrestling and TNA or Impact Wrestling, having done so for several years. We can now expect more Karen Jarrett appearances going forward, bringing an end to her six-year hiatus from screens. In the lead up to yesterday's Warner Bros. Discovery upfronts, which saw the announcement of AEW Collision, there would be much talk online of a brand new television deal that was expected to be announced at the event, something that didn't end up taking place. The story caught traction after rumors of a $1 billion five-year deal started on the Wrestling Observer message boards via Ryan Fredericks, this before Dave Meltzer noted that both a deal and a new show were going to be announced, albeit not confirming a money amount. And the Observer website would note, 
A new TV rights deal between AEW and Warner Bros. Discovery will be announced as part of the latter's upfronts next Wednesday in New York City. The news comes from our Dave Meltzer. Meltzer said that both the deal and the much-discussed AEW Collision show will be announced at the Wednesday, May 17th event at the theatre at Madison Square Garden. With that said, PW Insider have revealed that there was never any intention of Warner and AEW announcing a new television deal this week, and Mike Johnson would note. PWInsider.com is told by a source at Warner Bros. Discovery that there was never, ever a plan for either side to announce a new deal between AEW and WBD. There had been rampant speculation online about a new deal between the two sides being worth as high as $1.5 billion, but beyond that speculation, there had never been any inkling from either AEW or WBD that a new rights agreement had been locked in, much less was going to be officially announced today. As for a ballpark on when a renegotiated deal between Warner and AEW may be agreed, Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics would speak with Post Wrestling last night to note that the current deal expires in and around December 2024, and deals are typically renewed 18 months before they end, meaning we're a little bit before that point in this case. Now let's get to the latest involving CM Punk and his reported return to AEW, and there's a lot to break down, so strap in. Yesterday's official announcement of AEW Collision would omit any mention of the returning Second City Saint, this despite various reports over recent weeks revealing that he will be the figurehead of the brand new show, but with that said, it may not be as smooth sailing as we'd have hoped. It was first revealed by Jimmy Trainer of Sports Illustrated that Punk was mentioned by name in the original copy of the press release for the new show, which was sent out via email to various outlets. When the same release was published online, however, Punk's name had been removed entirely. It's also been reported by Fightful Select that AEW's original graphics for Collision did feature CM Punk, with there even being a match graphic for a match between Punk and Samoa Joe prepared, things that have yet to emerge. Warner Bros. Discovery would later release a statement to comicbooks.com that, quote, CM Punk is not affiliated with TNT's AEW collision, a sign that they are either keeping his involvement a surprise or there has been a hiccup along the way. Well, regarding the second possibility, PW Insider have revealed what they've heard as a potential reason for CM Punk's removal and Mike Johnson would write, the rumour making the rounds is that Punk and AEW are again at odds currently, now over the status of the return of Ace Steel. There appears to be something to that situation. The belief among those we've spoke to is that Steel was expected to return in conjunction with Punk next month, working behind the scenes. However, the story making the way around AEW backstage today at Dynamite is that a decision was made that Steel would not be working backstage at the actual collision tapings. For those not familiar, Ace Steel would find himself involved in the reported backstage altercation between the Elite and CM Punk at AEW All Out, and was later fired due to this, whilst everyone else was suspended. Fightful Select would later confirm that they've also heard the same rumours, adding that it was Chris Jericho's idea, and they would note, Fightful has learned that during the meeting between CM Punk and Chris Jericho, that Jericho mentioned the possibility of Ace Steel returning to the company in some capacity, with the belief that people working together in harmony could alleviate some tensions and show that everyone was willing to do business. Fightful was told that there was a meeting this week between AEW and Punk, and it was extended to Punk that Steel would have the ability to be with the company and work directly with Punk. However, it was made clear that Ace Steel would not be able to be at AEW television. We haven't learned specific specifically how Punk reacted to this outside of him not being in agreement with it. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful would then later take to Twitter to reiterate, to be clear, as of this moment, Fightful has not reported specifically why Punk was removed from the WBD press materials. Anyone else reporting it has their own sources or is speculating based on other stories. PW Insider have also added that Impact Wrestling approached a steal over bringing him in as a road agent, with him choosing to opt against this, a sign that he had other plans going forward, potentially going back to AEW. Putting all this together, it seems that Punk wasn't the impression that his friend Ace Steel would be returning to the company following the peace talks with Tony Khan, Chris Jericho and FTR, this when the terms of his own return were discussed. More recently, it seems that Punk was told Steel would not actually be returning back 
backstage, which has thrown a spanner in the works. This could of course be a situation that can be resolved moving forward with there still being a month until AEW Collision begins. And again, there is still no confirmation on if this is the actual reason for Punk being pulled from the Collision material, and it could still be the case of keeping it a surprise. Another thing to note, however, is that last night on AEW Dynamite, Tony Khan would announce the dates and locations for numerous AEW Collision tapings apart from the first episode. This is interesting because the June 17th episode is reported to be taking place in the United Center in Chicago, Punk's hometown, and was originally set to have its own special name, The Second Coming, in reference to his return. We'll now have to wait until next Wednesday for the official confirmation on if this is still the case, with AEW perhaps allowing some time to work things out. And as a final note, Fightful Select have added that there were plans for an AEW camera crew to film material at CM Punk's house yesterday, although there's no word on if this eventually happened. And before you go, make sure you check out how AEW can change wrestling forever.